Hey, I just want to make a quick video to help people with what I figured out finally. Have you ever had a double pane window and, and uh, there's like fog inside of it and you can't get to it on the outside at all? You flip it over, you pull it out, still can't get to it because it's inside the window? Yep, that's the damn thing. You probably searched for that if you found this video. So I figured out finally how to fix that. There's You search online. I searched online for months and I just didn't make any progress. I asked people who knew and they were like, oh no, you're going to have to replace your whole window, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, there's got to be an easier way. And I eventually paid somebody $400. They came in and did it in like 10 seconds, which clued me in that, yeah, there's an easier way. I found it. I'd like to share it with you. So I'll show you some stuff. All right. So first things first, this is the unit we need to replace. It's called an insulated glass unit. That's what really finally allowed me to find it, the name of this thing. It's an insulated glass unit. You can see in this case, this one's got steam all inside of it. This is the one I took out. This is what it looks like. There's a pane and window on each side. And then inside, it's supposed to have this gas, nitrogen or something, that's in there. And then the seal breaks, and that's what happens. And now you've got atmosphere. Completely different world inside there that gets all lucky. But that's the unit we want to replace. That's all it is. We're going to take that out and put a new one in. This is that window after I replaced it. This is the new one, nice and clear. So the important thing, I'm actually not going to show you how to do all this because I've already done it, but I'm going to link you to places that, where pros show you what to do. They do exist. They're out there. You can see this. The important thing is what holds that unit in. It's just these things. They're called glazing beads. I don't know why they're called glazing beads. It's this plastic piece here. There's another one here. There are four pieces. They're part of what's called the window sill, not sill. See, I always have problems with this. It's not the window sill. Though. The window sill is what you think it is. It's the window sash. Yeah, the window sash is the thing that holds in. That's this piece. This piece is the window sash. The IGU, this insulated glass unit, is here. And then these things, these glazing bleeds are holding it in. That's it. All they are is little pieces of vinyl that you shove into these slots. And that's holding your glass in. They're just put in really tight, and actually they're extremely difficult to get out, which is why I'm going to link you to a video where a pro shows you the correct way of doing it. I actually broke my window the first time because I didn't understand. You want to get in here. There's a gap here, and my finger, my fingernail is inside that gap. You want to get in this gap and push that way. That's all it's in. They're just sliding in there, but they're in so tight that you're going to have to get something in there. The pros just use like a putty knife. You get in there and then they take a hammer and they whack it. Real scary. But the important thing is there's no glass here. Where my fingernail is, I'm gonna put it in there, there's no glass. The glass is here. That unit I'm showing ends like here. It ends. You're not touching glass at all. You're not even touching the unit when you get something in here. Get it in, push it out. There's four of them. That's all it's gonna take. You pull those four things out and that window unit should come out. Now in my case, mine was full of silicone. Something had gone crazy and siliconed it up. So I had to sort of yank it out. I even had to sort of destroy the IGU itself. I broke the glass and tore up the metal framing just to rip that one out of the window. Not sill, sash. Pull it out of the window sash, which is just a piece of vinyl. This window sash that your IGU is sitting inside of, that will stay. That's gonna be unchanged. All you're gonna do is replace that little unit I showed you of glass. That's the whole thing. I'll link you to a videos where they show you how to pull them out put that and they do a nice job of, of pulling it out without damaging the glass there's nothing more to the job except oh, of course you have to find oh yeah and that does there's one more part to the job and that is you have to go buy a igu you have to get an insulated glass unit i'll link you the people i bought it from the one i bought the big one i bought was 200 dollars, so it's half the price cost me 400 to have it replaced 200 of that for me was the glass unit. The rest of it, again, we're talking about just removing pieces of vinyl, just little pieces, pull them out, four of them, and you're done. Except that it was sticky and gross and it wasn't as easy as that. But it certainly wasn't worth $200 to me. I replaced three of them. One was a little one in my kitchen and it cost like $70. So it depends on the size of your glass, how much the glass will cost. But it's beautiful, it's new. The only other thing is you gotta find them. And so I'm, I'll give you a link to Peninsula Glass, the people I used. You have to measure it carefully. It has to be exactly the right size. And I mean down to the eighth inch. They even go down to the 16th inch, but I found that I didn't really need to be that precise. In fact, the first one I bought, the window sash wasn't totally square and I only measured 
one of the corners I didn't realize it actually changed length and when I tried to put in the IGU it was a little too big for my sash and I had to do some finagling to get it in there the next time the one I just showed you the big one went in really easy because I, I gave myself a little bit of an error term I measured it the the point is you have to measure it you have to measure precisely to do that you're going to have to remove your window take those glazing beads out those plastic pieces of vinyl that's the hard part to get them out then you're going to be able to measure your glass you don't actually need to take the IGU out of the out of the sash. You don't need to do that. Uh, you're going to put it right back anyway. You just want to measure it at length. They're going to want to know a uh, length, width. They're going to want to know thickness. They're going to want to know thickness. You're going to need to know that. And then they're going to ask you some questions about the shape of your glass and what kind of glass you'll want to decide what you want to do there. And that's it. That's all there is to this project.